Welcome to the Make It So sewing series. It's the beginning sewing series offered by SureFit Designs. I'm Glenda, sometimes referred to as Glenda the Good Stitch. I've been talking about seaming in the last couple of videos, and this one I would like to talk about doing a seam and making a square corner. Where you would use an application like this is on a collar point. Even though this isn't a perfect 90 degree angle, the concept is the same. So here I have a sample laid out in place, and I've got a perfect 90 degree angle here. As I said, that could be a much sharper point for a collar. And what I have done is I've taken my marking ruler, and at 5 eighths of an inch, I have drawn a line with this soluble marking pencil, showing the 5 eighths inch seam allowance there. I've also made, <coughs> excuse me, another 5 eighths inch seam allowance here. And then, when it gets to the corner, I've done this little angle, and I'll show you why. And then I've made two little marks about an inch away from that corner point, because that is where I'm going to tighten up my stitch length. I will put in a couple of pins. You could do this in cotton without pinning, but again, as a beginner seamstress, I do recommend setting in a couple of pins. Now, let's start stitching this. And I've got the tape that's marking the 5 8 inch marking on my sewing machine. And I don't think I'm quite on that line. Let's just reposition that. There we go. And now I'm going to start. I will backstitch. And I am definitely going to put my needle in the down position. And that's because I want to pivot when I get towards that corner. So I'm sewing on the marked line, first of all. Now notice I'm coming up to this little mark. That's telling me that I'm going to stop with my needle in the down position. I'm going to go to the stitch length on my sewing machine, and I'm going to tighten the stitch length. Regular stitch length that I've been sewing with is 2.5 millimeters. I'm going to go down to 1.5 millimeters. So I'm really tightening it up really, really short little stitches. And when I get to the corner, I'm not going to go right to that corner. I am going to just roll the machine by hand. I'm getting even closer to the corner. And I am going to take one diagonal stitch with the needle in the down position so that you can pivot, raise the presser foot up, turn the fabric so that it's at a 45 degree angle to you and take one diagonal stitch like that. If your machine stitch length is really really short you might need to do two little stitches across there. Then raise the presser foot up, turn so that you're now going to be stitching down the other side and now you can continue stitching. That one little diagonal stitch that you took is going to help make that point look a much sharper point. Now notice I'm still stitching in that very tight stitch length, the 1.5 millimeters. I'm coming up to my little mark on the other side. Needle is in the down position. I'm going to now go back to regular stitch length, which was 2.5 millimeters, and finish off the other side. And of course you can back stitch if you want to and raise up the needle. And now I've got that little diagonal stitch right on the corner. Well, now I can't begin to turn any of this to the inside until I get rid of a lot of that bulk. So what you're going to do is trim off an angled piece like this, and you are going to trim that pretty close to that corner. Then I'm going to trim again that angle, and then I will trim one more time this angle. And now you can come and trim this edge and get your shears in between the two layers and grade. So I'm just taking that second seam allowance, or one of the seam allowance, however you want to look at it, down to half width. And that, of course, is grading. And I did cover that in one of the previous 
videos in this series. And this other side should be graded too. If I can get a hold of it and get my shears in there, there we go. Oops, you know what I forgot to do is I forgot to trim it, but that's okay, I can come back and do that right now. So I've, I've, I graded first and now I'm trimming, just to reduce the bulk, and I went really crooked. Part of the problem is the angle that I'm at in relationship to what I'm doing for the video purposes. Okay, so now what I would do is I would test all of this and see if I need to take anything more out of that corner. So now I'm going to turn this corner like this, and it looks a little flat right there, but I haven't done any poking of it with the uh, point turner. But I think that's okay. I think I've taken out enough fabric. So I've got a couple of little point turners for you. They're usually plastic, and this one I like the best. You can tell I've used it the most because it's got the, the most uh, residue on it. And then there's this angular one as well but they have kind of a blunt end on the point. And that's what you want because you're going to go up into this point and you're just going to very gently push the point out. And that's like totally perfect right there. And now I've got an absolutely perfect looking point. And that's because I took that diagonal stitch. And of course, then you'd want to come and Press this all in order to get a nice perfect point on your collar. I hope you've been enjoying the videos in this Make It So Beginners series. And if you have, I would really encourage you to join our SureFit Designs community if you haven't done so already. You can do that in three easy steps. Number one, make sure you go over to surefitdesigns.com and sign up for our newsletter. And when you do, there'll be all kinds of free gifts to get you started. Secondly, you're likely in YouTube watching this right now. Please make sure that you like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's SureFit Designs, and the buttons are below in order to do that. And the third thing is, make sure that you join our SureFit Designs community in Facebook. We have a great active group right now. And seamstresses from all over the world are getting together, sharing their projects, asking questions, supporting one another, and in general, having lots and lots of fun with SureFit Designs. I certainly do invite you to join us.